Terry Cornwell, Technology Training Librarian with the Athens County Public Libraries with a special video conferencing tech tip for you. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Cisco WebEx video conferencing platform. I will be joined by one of our community partners, Caitlin Bond, who is the coordinator for the Upbeat program. You'll also learn a little more about the Upbeat program, which is through Ohio Health, Oblenis Hospital, and there's a link to their website in the video description on YouTube. During our presentation today, we will show you how to join a meeting and how to use the meeting controls. I'll be using my Windows 10 based PC computer and you may be connecting with other devices such as an iPad or iPhone, tablet or other Android device or smartphone. And for you, things may look a little different. However, the meeting controls will function in a similar manner. So I hope you enjoy and find this tech tip useful for video conferencing with Cisco WebEx. Here I am joining my meeting with a link in my email account. So you can see the subject is Upbeat, virtual connection information. So here's the message. I have an option to connect by phone or I have an option to connect by computer. So if my computer did not have speakers and a microphone, I could connect by phone to get sound, but to get the picture and the full experience, I wanna connect by computer. So I'm going to click this link and I can tell it's a link because it is blue and underlined. And when I move my cursor over it, it changes from an arrow to a little hand. So I click the link and now I have another browser window open. I'm using Firefox right now. And so Firefox is asking me um, that this link needs to be opened with an application. And so it's wanting to open in Cisco WebEx meeting. And so that is the video conference uh, application I want to use. So that's good. So I'm going to go ahead down here and click on open link. All right. So it looks like our meeting here, what we're seeing is a preview. And so there's an option here that says join meeting and I can see me obviously. Hello. Um, so this is a way that you can test to make sure that your, your camera's working. And then I'm going to use the computer for my audio. And so there's an option for phone number or call in, but we're doing the computer. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and join the meeting. Oh, hi, Caitlin. Oh, hi, Barry. Hey, what are you reading there? You caught me at the right time. I was reading our upbeat newsletter, which I just received in the mail today. And I wanted to see if there was anything that I was interested in participating in. So I actually haven't heard of upbeat before. I'm curious, what does it stand for? And yeah, how can I learn more about the upbeat program? So upbeat was founded in 1996 by two social workers, Peggy Irwin and Alice Hawthorne who found that through their work, there was a lack of resources for older adults in our community and region to be active and engaged. Upbeat's mission is to provide opportunities to remain active and beat or be educated and active together is what Upbeat stands for. Upbeat is a free program sponsored by Ohio Health of Linus Hospital and is open to anyone 55 years or older with no other um, requirements to become a member. And Sari, the great thing about it is, is that once you are a member, you will receive the monthly newsletter by mail or email, whichever you choose, whatever your preference is. And then you'll be able to choose what you would like to participate in. And so we have a variety of interest areas that include a book club, a history group, singing group, exercise class, and health and wellness education sessions. Okay, so this sounds like a great way to meet friends, connect with others. So if somebody's interested in getting involved with Upbeat, um, how do they get started? You're right, Sari. Upbeat is a place where friends bring friends and where you can also make friends. We welcome everybody. 
To become a member, all you need to do is reach out to me, Caitlin Bond, at 740-566-4680, or you can send me an email. And later, when we go through some of the functions of WebEx, I'll share with you my contact information in the chat box. Okay, that sounds great. But wait, uh, how are you holding your programs right now if you're not meeting in person? So currently we're meeting virtually, which means you can either connect us to us by computer or by phone. If you're connecting by computer, you'll meet with us using the Cisco WebEx platform, which you just downloaded and connected with me by computer just right now. One can also join us by phone if they do not have a computer or a device that will allow them to connect with audio and camera. And I'm just curious, Sari, is this your first time of connecting with us using WebEx? Yes. I'm so happy you connected with us and know how doing something new can be difficult. So you did such a great job. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, this is my, my first time connecting. I'm not sure I totally feel comfortable. Um, there's a lot of different pictures on my screen. If I move my mouse, there's these buttons that show up. So can you tell me a little bit more about what I'm seeing on my screen? I'm happy to, and I hope that it'll make you feel more comfortable for any time that you connect with us again in the future. So let's just start out by looking at the functions across the bottom of your screen. They probably look a little bit scary, but I'm gonna walk you through those. So if you move your mouse, you should see a line of circle icons that come up at the bottom of your screen. These buttons will allow you to start or stop your video, mute or unmute your microphone, access the chat feature, and leave the program. So let's just start with how to mute and unmute yourself. If you roll your mouse around, you should see a circle come up with a microphone in it that looks like it has an X over top of it. Do you see that? Yes, I do. And I hovered my mouse over it and it says mute. Okay, so that is, you're in the right place. If you click on that, that will mute you so that I cannot hear you. You want to give it a try? Okay, I'll try it. All right, so Caitlin should not be able to hear me. So Caitlin, What's, tell me what two plus two is. <laughs> so I'm asking her a question. She has no idea. So anyway, um, I go back here, it looks like, and it says unmute. So I'm going to click here. Okay. There you are. I can hear you now. <laughs> I asked you a question. I don't know if you heard it or not. No, I didn't. Okay. I couldn't hear you. <laughs> That's good. Then I successfully muted myself. Okay, so now you're unmuted. So all you had to do was click on that button again, and that made it so that I could hear you again. So now let's move on to making your camera be turned off and on. So if you wanna stop your video, because right now I can see you. So if you wanna stop your video, the second icon over in the circle, it looks like there's a camera there with a line through it. If you hover over top of that and click on it, what do you see? I'm doing it. I saw myself disappear, actually. <laughs> okay. So now your camera is off. Now, if you click that button again. Oh. And I see myself reappearing down here in the bottom right. So there's a little tiny picture. Right there you are. That's great. That's wonderful. Now we can see each other. So if you ever need to turn your camera on or off, now you know how to do that. Great. Do you feel pretty comfortable with those two yes. functions? Okay. Now we're going to move on to 
if you want to use the chat function during a program, maybe you want to ask a question, um, or maybe you want to have a conversation with somebody else in the program. So what you're going to do is you should, um, if you move your mouse around, you should see those icons in a circle again, and you're going to hover over the circle with the comic bubble in it. And when you do that, you should be able to click on that and the chat box will show up on the right side of your screen. Oh, do you see the chat box? I do. Yes. So in the chat box, you should see the word two and there's a box there that you can click on and you can select who you want to send the message to. So you can either send the message to everyone or you can send a private message just to one individual in the program. So I'm going to send you an, a message privately, Sari, and this message is going to tell you how you can become an Upbeat member. So I'm going to send that to you. Oh, I see it appeared already. Great. Okay. Now. I want to I want to try to see if you can send me a message back. Okay. Yeah, this is great. I see your phone number and then there's your email address. So that's good. Um, so if anybody wants to get involved and so here I'm going to use that drop down. That's right. If I leave it on everyone, it'll send it to everyone. So I'm going to pick you and I'm going to write hello. I got your message. Great, I, I just saw it pop up. Yep, I see it there too. And then of course, I guess if I wanna to talk to the whole group, I gotta make sure I switch back to everyone. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. So you always wanna double check that to area. Okay. Now, now that you know how to use the chat function, we can move on to one last function that I wanna tell you about. We won't actually do this function right now, um, but down at the bottom, if you move your mouse, those icons show up in circles and you should see an icon with an, it's red and it has an X in it. If you float your mouse over top of that, it should say end or leave meeting. Now we don't want to do that right yet because we aren't <laughs> all the way done, but just Later, we'll talk a little bit more about that when we leave the meeting. Okay. <laughs> and the last icon that I want to teach you about is the way that you can change the view that you see on your screen. And so what I want you to do is I want you to take your mouse and float it around. And up on the right side of the upper part of your screen, you should see circles. If you float over top of of the most left circle, you should see three options come up and that will allow you to view different screens. So I'm going to share a PowerPoint presentation with you because a lot of the programs that we have, we, ha we share PowerPoint presentations. And so I just want you to be able to see how it would look like on your screen. I'm going to share my PowerPoint with you. Okay. And then, and then if you want to go through those icons at the top right hand corner of your screen. Okay. Yeah. The first one I'm in says a video strip view. And then I can change it to something called side by side view. Okay. And then I can see you on the side now. Uh, and then floating panel view. Oh, okay. So it kind of took up my whole screen here. And it looks like I can see the participant list and the chat box still. So I actually could click on this little X and close those so I can see more of the screen. And then, of course, I still see you in pickle, but I can grab that and move that around so I can be out of my way. Okay, that's good because I know some of your uh, programs probably use different kinds of presentations, right? 
Yes. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And then I see how to get back out of here. Okay. So I can, um, oh, I just changed it to you. Okay. So when you press these buttons, there are a lot of different things that can happen. So it looks like you can press different ones. And so if you don't have the view you want, it looks like you can click again. <laughs> yeah. So I always say, just try to click through all of them and see which one you prefer the best. And don't be afraid to click back and forth. Okay, great. So now I'm going to stop sharing okay. the PowerPoint. That may change your view a little bit. All right, now I can see you and Pickle. Yes, and so now you can go up to those same buttons. And you can click through them now too, just to see what it looks like when I'm on the screen. Oh, without yeah. a presentation. I do that. It definitely looks different, but I think that's because I closed the chat box, which if I remember how to do that, I can open it. Okay, and it looks very similar to what I saw before. Wonderful. So that is all the functions that I wanna share with you today. Do you have any questions? you feel comfortable? Yeah, yeah, I feel really good. Uh, you did a great job explaining the meeting controls. Thank you. Yeah, and I feel like uh, I'll be able to help people now that I know how to use it when I do my technology training appointments, um, because that's something that that I do. So yeah, if there are people watching who, who need help connecting or want to practice, um, I imagine they, of course, can reach out to Caitlin now that we have her contact information. But if you want to set up a technology training appointment with the public library with me, Sari, uh, you can just contact any of the Athens County Public Library branches. You can call or stop in if they're open um, and just ask for a technology training appointment. Well, I think that wraps up our meeting today, Sari. Do you remember how to leave the meeting? Um, I think so, but go ahead and remind me. Okay, if you look, if you roll your mouse around, you should see on the bottom of your screen the icons and circles come up. Yeah. You're going to look for the red circle with the X in it. Okay. It should say end or leave meeting when you roll over top of it. And you'll click that. And that will end our meeting. All right. Well, it says leave meeting. So I'm going to go ahead and click it. So thanks so much and good to see you. Thank you, Sari. Have a good day. You too. All right. Bye, Katie. Bye. Oh, it's asking if, do you want to leave the meeting? And I want to say yes.